Hey guys, what's up? Connor here with Full Mag Studios. Today I'm going to show you how to paint your AR-15. So basically, let's go over what you're going to need. Number one, you're going to need a rifle. Number two, you're going to need some spray paint. Number three, you're going to need some painter's tape. And number four, you're going to need something to give it a pattern. I've got this sniper veil, so we're going to use this to shoot through and uh, give it a little bit of a nice, uh, almost a snake skin type texture to it. So let's get started. All right, so we've got our rifle hanging and we've done our prep work with our tape. One of the big things that you want to make sure and do is tape up anything that obviously doesn't need paint on it. The worst thing that could happen is you forget to tape up one of your optic lenses and now you've got paint all over it and it doesn't work like it's supposed to. Or you go to run your flashlight and guess what? It's super dull now because you didn't tape over the lens. So make sure you do that. I also like to make sure and tape over the trigger guard as well as the mag well so that that way nothing's actually getting into the gun itself. We don't want all that paint and uh, nonsense to jam up what's actually in the bolt carrier itself. So keep those in mind as we're doing this. The other thing is I have the rifle hanging because this is how we're gonna apply our quote unquote base coat. What we're gonna do is use three different colors on this rifle. We're gonna do a little bit darker brown, we're gonna do a little bit of an off brown, and we're gonna do a khaki. The khaki is gonna be our texture that applies to it, and the other two colors are gonna be base and a little bit of contrast throughout. Obviously, you wanna make sure that you've shaken up your paint can. And I like to keep some scrap cardboard around, that way I can spray down just to double check what color it is because it would be my luck that I go to spray the gun and all of a sudden it's not the right color. Um, so yeah, make sure you do that as well. Also, you want to keep a little bit of distance away because what we're doing is just basically misting this on. I do want a good solid base coat on it but I'm not worried about if it's full coverage or not because we're gonna cover it up with some other stuff. Plus, I don't want it to get too tacky. All right, so now that the rifle has kind of our base coat on it, and our optics and accessories have all been painted. What we're gonna do is go ahead and cut it down and lay out our pattern actually on the cardboard itself. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna cut it down here in just a second and show you all how I lay it out. I like to spray my pattern on this scratch cardboard that's here. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna spray about a palm's width for our diagonal stripes. And so we'll do that and then we're gonna do some contrast with our texture as we lay it over. So, here we go. A good rule of thumb that I like to practice is keeping the lids for your spray paint in front of the can. So that way you know exactly what color you're grabbing when you're grabbing it. And so we're gonna start and do each of these colors individually, and then we're gonna add in what we need to as we go. But, this is a big reason why we want to lay out our pattern, so that way we're not just kind of guessing as we go. So now that we've got that side, the pattern laid out, we're actually gonna go ahead and flip it over, give that a second to dry, before we start shooting the texture on it. Now some of you might be thinking, well Connor, you didn't let that dry all the way. Yeah, I know, shut up. All right, so now we're gonna get into the fun part of actually painting the gun. We're gonna add a little bit of texture. Um, it always looks cool leading up to that, but the texture is really what seems to pull it together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our sniper veil, or mesh here, and it doesn't have to be this. You just want something that's gonna give you some kind of pattern or texture. It could be, you know, leaves off a tree, it could be sticks, it could be grass, it could be really anything. 
Um, this is just what I like to use. So what we're gonna do is lay it over different sections and we're gonna do a contrasting color. You don't wanna use the same color. So if we use that dark brown in an area, then we wanna hit it with the lighter brown or even the khaki, just a little bit of that, not a whole lot. But we're gonna do little bits like that so that that way it gives a nice even flow to it and kind of breaks up the overall silhouette of the gun. Now you'll notice I did not use the entire width of the veil because in all honesty, I don't necessarily want the entire width all in one place. And also, it makes it a little tougher to actually see your pattern whenever you're spraying it on there and see what colors you need it to be. You want to be back just a little bit and not necessarily spray it directly on. You want to kind of almost ghost it in there. And I like to use a little something as a test piece. So right now I'm using my weapon light that goes on there. It's just something to kind of test it, make sure that it's giving me the right look that I want. So now we're going to move on to the optics and make sure we get some good texture in there. If you have enough material, sometimes you can double it up in certain areas and lighten the texture that's going on because it's going to have to work harder to push through on the fabric itself. Well folks, there you have it. Uh, I was fortunate enough to have a heat gun that I could go ahead and quicken the drying time a little bit. But basically, uh, that's all there is to it. Make sure your prep work is good. You wanna tape up all those spots where paint may get in that it shouldn't, or cover up lenses or anything like that. And just kind of have a pattern in mind, have a little bit of scratch, cardboard, or paper around so you can lay it out and have something you can put a pattern on with. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. So good luck painting your rifles. Uh, when you do it, make sure you tag me in it and um, maybe we'll run a little contest or giveaway or something like that. So uh, y'all have fun, take care. I'm gonna probably go throw a couple mags in this bad boy and shoot it. I'll see y'all later.